Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant and in today's video, we're gonna talk about why the Panasonic Lumix GX9 is awesome for street photography and my top five reasons why it is a great choice for that style of photography. And if you're going to pursue that style of photography, why the Panasonic Lumix GX9 is such a great camera paired up with the right lens, okay? So let's roll that intro and let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, the Panasonic Lumix GX9 for street photography and my top five reasons why it is awesome for street photography. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I've got a bonus three reasons why this camera is awesome for street photography, okay? Um, so just a little bit of history, um, you know, I started this channel probably about this time last year, I would say, um, centered around the Panasonic Lumix GX9. Uh, then I you know, sold this camera. Um, I actually traded it in for this camera over here, the Panasonic Lumix GH5 Mark II, because you know I was doing more client work with video um, and I wanted more of a hybrid camera more than just stills. This is more of a stills orientated camera. And I also wanted to boost up my YouTube content. You know, the GH5 Mark II was a good choice and I don't regret trading in my first GX9 for this particular camera because it's really bo uh, boosted this YouTube channel. However, um, I really did start to miss um, this particular camera for these very five reasons that I'm going to go into, in particular for my street photography. I thought that I might be able to just use my Panasonic Lumix G9 for street photography. However, after a few months using that, yes, it is awesome for street photography, but it gets a little bit on the big side, um, especially if you want to go stealth mode and not stand out, okay? But um, enough of that. Let's get into the top five reasons, and this is reason number one. Okay, reason number one is the compact size of this camera. So if we just grab my old GH5 Mark II here, look at the size difference here. If you're stri uh, shooting street photography, what camera would you rather use? Well, I know for me, if I wanted to go, you know, super stealthy and unnoticed in the public uh, eye, I'm gonna go this setup right here compared to a, you know, let's just say a, a DSLR style camera with a massive lens like this 12 to 60. I say massive, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, the micro four thirds yeah. stuff is still pretty small. However, for street photography, the smaller setup is the way to go, in my opinion, depending what you're doing, okay? Sometimes, you know, there is uh, a reason to use like a bigger DSLR style camera and a zoom lens, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But reason number one is that compact size, going stealth mode, shooting from the hip, going unnoticed, you know, you're using something like this, people really know you're taking photos, you're using something like this, you can really go into tourist mode and oh, that guy's just take he's just a tourist, he's just taking photos and stuff, right? But it's the compact size, particularly, you know, if you pair it up with the right lens, okay? So at the moment, I've got my Seven Artisans manual lens here. It's a 35mm um, lens, manual focus lens, and it's a great little compact lens for street photography, maybe a little bit too cropped. Um, if you want to go a bit wider, you could use something like the 12mm f1.4, a bigger lens, but still in the grand scheme of things, quite a compact little setup, okay? Um, these Leica lenses do add a little bit of weight to the GX9. Um, even these third-party Chinese lenses, that you know, they've got a bit of heft to them, okay? Nothing wrong with that, just means they're built well. Um, you know, lenses you could also look, look at to keep this thing super compact would be the 20mm f1.7. That's a great little pancake lens, that's awesome. Uh, another lens you could look at would be the... Um, 15 mil f 1.72 i think that's you know the go-to classic street photography lens for this camera i see a lot of people using that setup and you know it's a fast little lens 30 mil full frame equivalent so you're getting some classic sort of 30 to 35 mil sort of looks with that particular lens and those lenses are keeping this camera super compact and super stealthy for street photography right so that's reason number one it's the stealth mode of this camera and the compact size not to mention the build quality too this thing is built like an absolute brick you know what but anyway uh let's get into reason number two okay reason number two is and this is one of the big ones i missed when i sold this camera well traded it in it's the flip up screen 
okay? This thing here, uh, the flip up screen is absolutely awesome for street photography and staying in self mode. You know, you don't have to always bring the camera up to your eye. You can always shoot from the hip using the, the, the screen down like this. You can get some great angles and re remain pretty well unnoticed by shooting like this, okay? You can also, it flips up like that, so you can also get some top-down shots. If you're holding your camera like this, you can get some top-down shots as well. It's just a great feature for this style of photography, that flip-up screen. In comparison to, you know, a lot of the... Lumix cameras have that flip out screen, you know, because they're video orientated and that's a great feature for video and for photography too, but you're shooting in a different way with that flip out screen, okay? This keeps, uh, the flip up screen keeps you composed in the center. You're not looking out to the side. You're really dialing in your composition by having this screen being able to flip up and that's a feature I really missed and I feel as though that is a key feature to making this camera awesome for street photography. Panasonic, why you don't make a GX9 Mark II? I've got no idea. Have a think about it, Panasonic. Uh, you know, Fuji is, you know, really reaping the re rewards of, you know, that X100V trend. Imagine if you guys brought out a camera like that. Oh, yeah. Think about it. Okay, anyway, I digress. Let's get into uh, point number three, why this camera is awesome for street photography. Okay, reason number three this camera is awesome for street photography is that image stabilization, okay? That, imi uh, that image stabilization, that rattle in the camera that keeps that, image, uh, keeps that image sensor really super smooth and, you know, for low light conditions, slowing down the shutter speed in darker, low light settings for street photography, maybe nighttime photography, in the evening, all that sort of stuff. Man, I tell you what, the image stabilization is vital. Um, I definitely know when I shoot a camera that doesn't have image stabilization, I definitely know the dip, notice the difference. Um, but, you know, Panasonic is one of the leaders for image stabilization. And if you're getting a camera that is stabilized in a package like this, well, you know, you really just can't go wrong, okay? So that was reason number three. I'm not gonna harp on that one too long because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's the image stabilization. Can't live without it. Slow down that shutter speed. So that's number three. Let's get into reason number four. Okay, reason number four is it's that 20 megapixel sensor, okay? What a great sensor. It's the same sensor that's in the Panasonic G9, the Lumix G9, and you're gonna get great results with that sensor, okay? So um, I've got a little show reel here of um, this is uh, a day I recently went out with the family at a carnival. This was this camera here paired up with the 12mm f1.4, this lens right here. And this is the sort of results you can get with this amazing little camera and its 20 megapixel sensor. Let's roll it right here. So there you go. Um, yeah, the sensor, 20 megapixels, more than enough, and that's the sort of results you can get with this particular camera. And you know, 12 mil combo, 15 mil combo, whatever you want to use, whatever lens you want to use, it gives great results. This camera also, um, you know, the sensor paired up with the Leica lenses, I find work great. Um, this camera paired up with the 12 to 60 over here, it does give really, really good results, but you're losing that um, stealth sort of thing by putting this bigger sort of zoom lens on the camera. Um, I guess you could get away with being a touristy sort of thing, but you know, if you want to you know, keep that sort of compact you know, size and feel and everything like that, putting a zoom lens on it really defeats the purpose for stealthy street photography. However, that's not to say you can get great results with this lens on this particular camera too, right? So that's number reason number four. It's the 20 megapixel sensor. It's more than enough. It's awesome. Let's get into reason number five. Okay, reason number five, and this is a big one for me because I'm a manual shooter, okay? 
Um, it's the tactile controls, okay? Everything is laid out and ready and perfect for street photography. I shoot on manual mode 100% of the time, uh, but you know, shooting on aperture priority, you've got a dedicated exposure do uh, compensation dial that you can dial in your preferred um, exposure if you want to underexpose and things like that. But the dial at the back with the shutter for me, the aperture ring on the front for me as well, where it really comes into play is using these Panasonic Leica lenses with the aperture ring on the front, okay, makes things so awesome. It's so tactile, so hands-on. Um, I know, again, the Fujis are known for that tactile experience of all the buttons and dials and stuff like that. But on this camera, how much more tactile experience do you want, okay? So, you know, just there, everything's at fingers reach. You know, you got all the dials to dial in that great exposure and that great look that you want to get with this particular camera, right? So, um, yeah, that was reason number five. It's the tactile controls and just, yeah, being able to dial in anything you want, fully manual. I absolutely love it. So that's my top five reasons. Then there's another three reasons that, you know, just quickly I want to sort of touch on. Number one is, is the black and white mode in this camera, okay? The built-in color profiles that you can uh, look at. So we've got L monochrome. So we've got monochrome, then we go L monochrome, and then we've got L monochrome D. Um, the black and white JPEGs out of this camera is, uh, you know, fantastic. And also the ability to tweak them in camera and tweak the settings a bit, you can really get some great black and white looks in camera with your JPEGs with this camera. Uh, number two is um, something that people don't talk a lot about, but it's the Panasonic Lumix app, okay? On your iPad, on your phone, the ability to transfer JPEGs straight over to your phone, a little bit of editing straight up and share them straight away. That's brilliant too, the Panasonic Image app. And then number three, okay, in this sort of bonus reasons why this camera is awesome for street photography, it is a great looking rig, okay? Um, when it comes to, you know, good looking cameras out of the Panasonic Lumix lineup, I reckon this one really does take the cake. It was their last sort of, uh, let's just say, rangefinder looking esque style of camera. And this camera paired up with a nice little prime lens, looks great. I've got this awesome red rope on it these days, uh, just to add a little bit of funkiness with it. I got the red rope because I like the red logos and the red dot on the Panasonic Leica lenses. I thought it would go look well together. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's the overall look of this camera, man. And I know you want to go stealth mode when you're doing photography. However, um, over the last couple of weeks, people have asked me with this camera around my neck saying, what camera is that? That looks fantastic. Okay, so that's another feature of this thing that people don't really look, you know, pay attention to. It is a great looking camera. And for me, it really makes me want to get out there and do street photography, right, with this camera because the way it looks, the way it feels, the results it gives, it's just the complete package for street photography and I feel as though it's very much overshadowed by, you know, the Fuji street photography thing, even the Leicas and stuff like that. Well, for me, this camera comes in right up there with them all, okay? So, yeah, that's it. Bit of a top-down video for you all today. Um, let me know what you think. Do you use the Panasonic Lumix GX9 for street photography or do you use another Lumix camera for street photography? Uh, are you a Fuji user? Um, let me know down in the comments. If you like this sort of thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.